I'm Kelly, and he's Dwight, aka the Pirate Man and the Winch. We go chasing sunsets and sunrises on all of our adventures. Already One of my favorite photos to capture. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Our adventures are by cruise ship. Runabout, sailing, however we can be on the water. As you can see, we have fun wherever we go. Our dream is to find our own boat so we can tour the world, sailing around. Come join us on our adventures. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I We go look at a 1988 Island Packet 31 in Key Largo, Florida. We meet with a broker for the our first time dealing with a broker to look at the boat. It is on the water and it is an extremely windy, breezy day. I will keep on searching for my highs Dwight is walking around on deck talking to the broker about the different features on the deck and things that we need to know. It is a beautiful boat. Unfortunately, it is a sail pending. It had just had a recent survey done. It has cockpit storage under the seats and that are fairly deep and the engine access is through the floor of the cockpit plus inside very clean engine compartment it doesn't have any kind of autopilot or on it. it does have a cockpit shower some pretty decent uh, electronics And the teak is all in really excellent shape on this boat. It was a very well kept, very well looked after boat. Even if the sky is falling down. Inside an island packet 31. This is the bee bird. Yeah, but a closet there. Yeah. Access to the wet head. Plenty of port lights. Pulls out to a double bar. Uh, drop table. Storage. Not a lot of freezer, but you got a good-sized box. Yeah. You got a good-sized dry storage here. Oh, yeah. Is the stove gimbaled? Yeah. Yes. And then your your hold on. And you have a point right there. We have a drain right here from when you're in weather. Open up. It keeps it away from the wood. 
You have a cabinet door here to get you access. Oh no, that's a trash can. That's kind of cool. These are some photos of the inside of the boat. As you can tell, like I said, it was very well taken care of. Um, being a 31 foot boat with a 12 foot beam, or right at a 12 foot beam, makes it seem really spacious to just be a 31. We were really impressed. This was our first time on an island pack at 31. It had a gimbaled stove, refrigeration and freezer, um, quarter berth, nav station, V berth, and a single head. All the cockpit cushions and all the interior cushions were in excellent shape, and it has stainless steel uh, port lights on it. We were again, we were very impressed with how well this one was taken care of. Okay, we just looked at a 1988 Island Packet 31 uh, with a broker. It is currently uh, pending sale based on a sea trial and survey that he led us on it to look at it um, in case something falls through and so we could see it and he could get an idea of boats so he could help us find a boat. Um, this is a very, very well done island packet. Um, and if you're not familiar with them, the island packets are very, very roomy. They have wide beams, so full keel. So a 31 on it will work for the two of us to stay and even have company on it. Um, the video shows how well taken care of this one is. Um, so we're now in a holding game on it, but it is now at the top of our list. And we're off to look at our next boat. See you soon. I'm a weary pirate, and my heart is made of dust and gray and spoiled champagne. CNC 37. It needs a new coat of bottom paint. You're a born survivor, and you'll never find yourself in love. You're wise and brave. Gonna need some new ropes. Top deck looks really, really good. Um, and through here, it has the vents like these. Up the mask, double spreaders. Needs a new stack pack. It looks like. Stainless port lights. Bimini is going. It's too long. Yeah, 
This is a uh, wet head with a shower. With a shower. It opens up. Sink. Toilet. Really nice. Has vents. Door. My galley. Nice sink. Water filtration. Microwave. Stove is not gimbal. Ice box for drain. This goes back to the aft cabin. Needs a new fan. We have three port lights, or three opening port lights. And then this port light. Looks like a queen berth. Some seats. This is our AC unit, which is a marine air. Access. That's a little storage. So I said, Hey, don't you want to come? Come and run away with me. Hey, won't you come? Won't you come? It puts good access to it, then. Don't you want to let drop down cutting doors? Pushing the mouth cleaning. Should be up your little fill it. This command salon. Table raises up. Set your nav station. You have that berth. Cabinet storage. You have two hatches. Three. Five four points in this area. Table. Oh, water raker. into the bee berth area here in the front of the boat. It has an opening into the main salon. It is like an island bee berth. It has lots of storage. It gets dark on us here. Let me get my light out. You have a hanging locker. And like I said, there's plenty of storage as we swing back around above the bee berth. There's a small sink, and even a mirror. Hello. And again, you can open or close this, but it opens up and makes it look like more space, but you can see into the main salon and get into some pictures I took. This is the main engine compartment from the front. Again, the ice box for refrigeration. Galley area. We are 
There's your birth all made up. And the main salon. Water maker. It's a spectrum. And there's better pictures of your nav station without the sun glare. We are dreamers of the shore. It has solar, so that's your controllers for the solar. Some of its electronics need updating. But it is a nice aft facing nav station. Just looked at a 1989 CNC 37 in uh, Marathon, Florida. It uh, will need a bottom paint, sand and paint, blade of paint. Um, it needs new zincs and the uh, propeller needs to be taken off and greased. It is a three blade feathering uh, propeller prop. Um, when you get up on top deck, um, the top part of the paint and the top deck all look great. Um, it needs new cockpit, cockpit cushions. And then it needs all new running rigging. Uh, all the ropes are worn and uh, fraying, and so it will need running rigging. The standing rigging is good. Um, and the rest of the deck area all looks good. You go down below, it looks really nice. It needs a good cleaning. Um, maybe cushions reupholstered. And probably some electronic updates. Um, it does have solar. It has a water maker. Uh, and it has most of the electronics we're looking for. Um, it has a huge solar arch um, that you can put a davit system onto to carry anything you want. One of the biggest things we saw that was uh, discouraging for us was that the Traveler is, as you're stepping out of the companionway, the Traveler is right there across the seating area. So we're not sure exactly how you would go about uh, putting a cockpit enclosure on with the Traveler. It did have a framework for a bimini top, but the bimini is top itself is disintegrated. Um, it is a uh, two cabin, aft cabin, uh, front B berth with a single head with a uh, separate shower. And it does have a sink in the B berth, uh, but only one toilet. Um, nice galley um, and nice salon area, nice nav station. So it's, uh, it's up on our list, but uh, it would require some work to get it in the water uh, before it could go, and the price is negotiable. It's been on the hard for over a year. Uh, so we have a, a video inside and out on it So uh, and took some pictures. So I'll post those with this, and uh, we'll continue on to our next one. See you soon. For better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. Dreamers of